Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Does the Quran only guide the pious? Is not the Quran mercy to all the people of the world? Why? To receive the answer, watch this video, please. We teach all the verses of the Quran from the beginning in this channel. If you want to learn the meaning and commentaries of all the verses of the Quran, join us and subscribe to our channel. Let's study verses 1 and 2 of Surah Al-Baqarah and receive the answers to the aforementioned questions. Verse 1 Alif Lam Mim Is verse 1 only composed of three letters? What is the meaning of these letters? The first verse is written in quote, understood only by God and his prophet. There are many commentaries and explanations which are concerned with this quote, but we will not delve into that discussion now. It's better to know that it's only a quote between God and his messenger. To receive the answers to the aforementioned questions, let's study verse 2. God subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the verse 2 of Surah Al-Baqarah that Zalika al-Kitab This is the book La rayba fi It is beyond doubt Hudan bil muqtaqeen It's a guidance to the pious This verse explains that the Quran sent down to the Prophet is perfect This book is a guide for the pious that is al-muqtaqeen but who are the muqtaqeen? They are the believers who observe God's law. The pious observe divine law and they do not break it. This is why this book provides them with guidance. They humbly follow the teachings of the Quran, so the Quran guides them. Therefore, those who disobey the teachings of the Quran and break God's law are not guided by the Quran. The Quran only guides the people who humbly follow its teachings. They are the pious. Shukran for your watching and God bless you all. If you want to learn the meanings and commentaries of the rest of the verses of the Quran, please join us and subscribe to our channel.